I'd like for you to listen to this clip from an Orthodox Jew discussing the issue of occupation, Israeli occupation in Palestine. It is not the difference of religions which is causing this conflict. The state of Israel does not represent all Jews and certainly does not represent the Jewish religion. According to Jewish religion, all of this is criminal. All of this is forbidden. Basics of Jewish belief teaches that Jews are in, in a divinely de decreed exile. We are even forbidden to create a sovereignty for ourselves. But especially when this is by killing, stealing, oppressing an entire people. This is not only criminal according to international law. This is a true violation of Judaism. And still, those people who choose not to follow Judaism, misuse that very same religion to justify all those crimes forbidden in Judaism. The root cause is this criminal occupation which is oppressing an entire people. We have to end this occupation in its entirety. If people will ask me my advice, the leaders of Israel should wake up tomorrow morning and step out of the Knesset and return the land back to indig in indigenous population. I guarantee peace. So those who are accusing me of being an anti-Semite because of what I'm speaking, there you go. Is he anti-Semitic too? Because that's Rabbi Feldman. And he has just said, this is not true Judaism. This is against our law. These are people who distort and pervert the word in order to justify what they're doing. Did God say, Christians, did God say, go in and possess the land that he promised? He has said it before, but he has not said it in this situation. Christians, if you know your word, it says that we are going to possess the kingdom after the resurrection. The word says that the power of God's holy people is going to be broken. Do you understand what that means? It means you're not going to be living high on that land in this life. It means that Jews are not going to be occupying that land in this life. Zionism, by the way, this whole idea that Christian, that counterfeit Christianity is perpetuating did not even exist until the end of the 1800s. Prior to that, Jews were not doing this. This is a lie. It is a lie in counterfeit Ju Judaism, and it is a lie in counterfeit Christianity. Orthodox Jews are testifying against it. Zionism is against Jewish law. It is a misuse of religion by people who don't even follow the religion. Do you remember that Jesus rebuked such people who misused religion and didn't even follow the religion? Do you remember that with the Pharisees and Sadducees? These people are justifying atrocities, justifying murder as Jesus rebuked them for doing that all throughout the word with the prophets. What is happening in Israel, in Palestine right now, is criminal according to Jewish law. Do you remember that foreigners lived among the Jews in the Bible? Do you remember that the law specifically says that you're not allowed to kill or steal? And, that, and yet Israel has been oppressing Palestine. This is not new. This didn't come out of left field, guys. These people are desperate. Hamas has formed because these people are desperate. Israel has driven Palestinians from their land. What are they supposed to do? The state of Israel is not representing Judaism. They're not representing the Jewish religion. They are using the Jewish religion and distorting it to justify murder and stealing. How is it okay to say you have 24 hours to leave your home and everything you have known, or you are going to be bombed to pieces? This is collective punishment. People are being punished until Hamas stops. They have nothing to do with that. Moreover, Hamas formed because of desperation. Palestinians have been hammered by Israel for years for an occupation that is not even biblical. God has not said, go in and possess the land. He has said that Israel will possess the land at the resurrection 
and that we are that land and kingdom. Christians have the New Testament. They have no excuse to believe these stupid ideas. But Jews also have the law, and this is outright against the law. And yet we have people like President Biden saying, if I were a Jew, I would be a Zionist. Why are we listening to President Biden about anything having to do with goodness or truth or the word? Zionism is not a concept in the Bible, first of all. Second of all, this man supports the slaughter of unborn babies. How is he a mouthpiece for anything good? There are witnesses, guys. There are witnesses in Israel right now. Those who actually believe all throughout the world, actually, those who truly believe in the law, in the Torah, who are witnessing and testifying that this is not okay, that this is not in agreement with the word of God. This is how deep that lie runs in counterfeit Christianity. The Jews are going to pay for everything and you'll just ride on the coattails of what they've done and be saved without suffering, without knowing the word. You're just waiting for everybody else to do everything for you, and then you'll be saved. There's absolutely no accountability in counterfeit Christianity. Everything is the responsibility of somebody else. You're constantly abdicating power, control, and responsibility to somebody else, to Jesus, to Jews, to doctors, to de- people in quote unquote deliverance ministries to scream out what God has sent to you. Counterfeit Christianity is a lie and it includes all of the ways that deceive those who are perishing. The people who believe this are perishing. The people who believe that God's intention in saying that Israel is the apple of his eye and that anyone who blesses Israel will be blessed. The people interpreting that to mean an ethnic category and not the people of Israel who are his people circumcised in heart, who are not all descended from Israel. Anybody teaching anything else is accursed. It is in addition to the scroll. It is an outright manipulation of who Israel is, of the heart of God, of the word of God. They are accursed. They won't listen to reason and they will not read the word of God and wrap their heart around what he has meant. They are accursed. They are perishing. They will die. And I want to tell you something else. If this lie runs this deep and people and what you're seeing is that people that claim to be Christian could shut their eyes and ears to reason and to truth to this extent where they could support a genocide, you should be able to see that these are the people who will kill you. This is the counterfeit Christianity, the beast, the antichrist of counterfeit Christianity that will kill God's people. This is exactly what will happen. So if you've been asking yourself, well, how in the world is that going to happen? I mean, I can't even imagine what that would look like. Take a look. It's right in front of you. These people will not listen to reason. They don't love the truth. They don't love the word. These are the people who will kill you. These are the people who in two years will kill the witnesses and will celebrate by sending each other gifts. Can you see it? And they will think they are doing a service to God. That's exactly what Jesus told the disciples before he left to go to the Father. He said, these are the very people who will kill you and think that they are doing a service to God. They are delusional. They are stupid. They are wicked. They would rather defer their responsibilities in their covenant to an ethnic group and convince themselves that they don't have to suffer anything and also that God is just waiting to come and pick them up before anything happens. Please sit with that for a minute. Please sit with what you're seeing, what you're hearing from these delusional people claiming to be Christian who are justifying murder. That blood, by the way, is on their heads. The blood of all of those people who are being murdered right now is on their heads. We're supposed to be witnesses for truth. These are people giving their approval for murder. 
and preferring out of their hypocrisy, preferring a group of people who have rejected Christ, who have distorted his word, who have distorted and added to and removed from his calendar. They prefer that group of people rejecting Christ. What does the word tell you about rejecting Christ? They prefer that group over a group of Muslims who accept Christ as a prophet, believe that he is return that he's going to return, are waiting for him to return. They have maintained the lunar calendar. They do not reject our Messiah. They do not add to or remove from the lunar calendar in order to accommodate the world. They maintain proper regulations for the sacrifice of animals and the full draining of blood. Which group is closer to salvation? The stupidity of counterfeit religion, of counterfeit Christianity in particular, runs so deep. I cannot believe that I am looking at the justification of murder in a religion that claims to be in Christ. These are the people who will kill you. This is the Antichrist beast in action. It is the false prophet in action, testifying to a kingdom that will rise in two years, will kill the witnesses, and will pursue the rest of God's people. Pay attention.